This week on Scam School, Diamond Jim Tyler returns and teaches us a brand new version of one of our favorite effects. Back again at the Moon Tower, we got Scott, we got Melody, and of course we got Diamond Jim Tyler. Now, Diamond Jim Tyler showed me a trick, and I was like, oh, no, 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 I'm familiar with this one. We've definitely covered this before. And then he showed me the answer, and I was like, that's not the answer that I know. <laughs> so I'm gonna let him present it to you, okay. because this was totally new to me. Cool. Yeah, I used four straws. I've used a sharp knife to kind of slip through the straw, so I can interlace these. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set them up so it looks like a little teepee. And using this straw, you have to pick up all three of these straws. Already off to a bad start. Yes. <laughs> if only it was just to knock it so over. So it's That's this amazing. straw and only this straw. Because only this right, straw. I can't, I can't like, like make pinchers out of it yeah, and grab and you can't, stuff. You can't bend it around the others. It has to stay straight. And using this one straw, lift all three of these in there and hold them there. Not for just a second. Like you can Keep hold them it. suspended for how, how long? As like long, if we're as long make as you want it. Right. Four hours. Stay down. <laughs> All day long. Knock yourselves out and uh, notice the formation here because if it falls down, you'll need to set it up again. Oh, yeah, that's two out of three. Nope. Trying to wrap my head around this. I don't know if that's going to work. Nope. Okay. <laughs> you got two of them. That was good. I kind of inherently want to pinch this into like a little stabby thread, get it inside this one, lift it up, and then balance the other one on there. Okay. But but I'm gonna guess that the actual answer is much more elegant than that, yeah, right? Yeah, you don't have to do that. Yeah, take it away, Scott. Uh, <laughs> I have a theory. Okay. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> I think your theory is pretty close to the way I thought this worked. Okay. But I don't think Let's the way I learned this works with the configuration he set up. Huh? 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 Oh. See? See? <laughs> and this is the diabolically clever part. The way I learned it was that this was a single bent straw, so you could push it forward and then it would come down and lay yeah, on it. Yeah, that's where I was trying to... But all of that is out the window because his version has this bisecting it, and as a result, the center of gravity is different, so oh, you can't yeah. do it. Like, oh, like, like yeah, if crazy. you're able to push it forward, it's going to flop over every single time. Right. Yeah, and then it goes past the yeah, point of no see, return. And then it goes, yeah. uh, Jim, I don't <laughs> often say this, but I will buy the answer with a drink. I will buy oh. you a drink for the answer to All this, right. man. It's killing my own damn easy. show. <laughs> Shows up my own damn show. Forget it, I mean, what are you drinking? I'm gonna get three of them. The perils of unlicensed domain registration. We all know the euphoria of registering a domain for that website of yours. You just feel on top of the world and a little unbalanced. Get, get down, come on, get down. But be wary of unlicensed back alley domain peddlers like this scumbag. Hi, unlike that criminal, I'm a licensed professional from Domain.com who sells reliable .coms and .nets and is in no way a narc. No questions asked? You want a domain, I've got what you need. I'm just cross-referencing my paperback compendium of domain extensions right here because of how many we have. Buying from street registrars will make you uncomfortably aloof, too trusting of strangers. You'll be arrested. You'll have restless nights. And whatever this emotion is. But that won't happen if you buy from somebody respectable like Domain.com. By about now, you're probably looking for a promo code. Look no further. Get 15% off with code SCAMSCHOOL. I, I just wish we had gotten to Susie soon. She had no idea the perils. Rest in your piece of the internet with a little peace of mind with Domain.com. So this was shown to me by the great Billy McComb. Billy McComb is one of the greatest magicians who had zero F words to give. Like he just did not care. Right. I was in the middle of watching John Carney, legendary magician, mm -hmm. give a lecture. And Billy McComb, of course, everybody knows and loves. He comes in the back door, waves for attention of John <laughs> Carney. John Carney's in the middle of a lecture and he kind of looks and Billy McComb goes like this and goes, <laughs> <laughs> And then turns and sees me, and, I, and, and he goes, oh, I don't know. <laughs> Dude, he's the best. Yeah, he was great. Two things. First of all, the set up set, is important. Yeah. 
You want the X, the cross on the front. Now, you, some guys use lighters and weld them together and all that stuff. I found just cutting through the straw is easier to do mm -hmm. to make the little intersection. You want it high on the straw, not low. It is important that it's on a grainy surface. So on a slick surface, use a napkin or something to keep the sure, straws sure. put. Or you'll spend most of your time just picking up the straws and you know trying to line them up. <laughs> you don't want to go halfway in. You want to go deeper on this. Oh, now, one thing I didn't say that is integral yeah. is they, they cannot touch any of the pieces with anything other than the straw. Right. They okay. can't use their fingers. But I never said I couldn't blow on them. Mm. Well, how would that make a difference? It makes all the difference in the world. Oh! No <laughs> oh. That's so good. That's great. So cool. And look, you can hold that. Four hours. Okay. Yeah, all right. Four hours. All right. Let, four hours. let me let me process this. Let me make sure I got it. Okay. So the the first part is the same setup. Cool. TP setup. Yeah. You're gonna have a hard time. There. Yeah. So so make sure to set up. That's another thing I didn't even think about that because the way you set it up, it has to face you. So all you do is you set it how far down. That's good, but this has to come further than halfway. Okay. You'll see why because when you come up, it'll be about halfway or less. Got it. Uh, oh my yeah. God! <laughs> Still doesn't make sense it. logically. Oh. Yeah! yeah. <laughs> nice. Uh -huh. Do you want to try? Yeah. There you yeah. go. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> I'm proud of myself. Well done. <laughs> Dude, Diamond Jim Tyler, you are the gold yeah. star. Got to give huge thanks to Diamond Jim Tyler for teaching us this variation to one of my favorite all-time bar challenge effects. In fact, he's got entire books of this stuff, so make sure to check out Bamboozlers, available right now at scamstuff.com. That's gear for the modern rogue. And of course, we should be best friends at twitter.com slash wood. There is no C in schwood. Now next week, you're not going to want to miss it because for the first time ever, I'll end a Scam School episode without making a self-referential bit about something I may or may not do in the following week. Or will I? Yeah. It's still, even after I've seen it, it's still mind blowing. Yeah. Like, I don't right? understand the yeah. physics Every behind time it. You're like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, <laughs> yeah, like, you're gonna watch that, that back in slow mo. Yeah. <laughs> Returns to give us. <laughs> I definitely tripped. <laughs> Without making a bizarre self rope. <laughs> I don't often say this, but this was totally new to me. <laughs>